Please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Hello everybody, uh, this is Randy Lee with uh, Dating with Dignity. I'm with Marnie Batista, the lovely Hi. Marnie Batista. Oh, I like it when they say that. <laughs> yeah, and your name, your name is as fun as my name, I feel like. Randy Lee and Marnie yeah, Batista. Yeah. Batista. We're it's like food on the Italian menu or something, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll order that, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're, we're talking now about um, when a guy pulls away. Yes. Um, is there anything you can do about it? Besides cry. Besides cry. You know what? This is a really interesting conversation because I think of all the dating WTFs. <laughs> so, you've got all these little little acronyms. I, I do. love it. I, love I just it. made I that it. one up. Yeah. But, but like, I think in the dating spectrum, there's like the mild WTF, and then there's the like WTF. Yeah, like, yeah, the big one. The big one is yeah. when a guy seems really into you, and then suddenly he just starts to pull away. And most, okay, let me ask you this question. Yeah. Why do most guys not communicate? Why don't they just pull away? Why don't they it's, say like, you know? It's easier. I mean, it's easier easy. than having a conversation. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, I mean, how easy is it to, I mean, if the guy really isn't feeling you anymore, it's a lot easier just to not talk anymore. And, Do you think because he's not sure, so he's trying to play both ends of the thing? I think, yeah. I mean, it, like like kind of the subject we talked about before, he might be at a point in his life where he's maybe not ready to totally settle down. He's still in the dating field. Right. But he likes you, so maybe it's kind of like he's weighing his options. Oh, okay. You know, and so, and I also feel like at the same time, if he is pulling away, like I was saying is, I think he's just going to, tell you or not maybe not tell you but that's a sign that he doesn't like you anymore as, as right. much as maybe he did right I, mean, I think something that's flip for him. that and that's really true I think with men is that they their their actions sort of say what they're not saying exactly men are pretty cut and, uh, dry. Cut and dry yeah yeah so if he's pulling away um, it might be that he's trying to decide between you and someone else, or maybe his ex-girlfriend came back. Or, yeah, maybe he still has feelings for her, and but he was trying to move on. Maybe she moved on. I mean, there's there's definitely a different situations you can be in. But I think the biggest thing for girls is you can't make somebody like you. Right. And and the thing is, is if they don't like you, or if they're expressing, if they're pulling away, if they're not texting back, right. if they're not calling back, if if every time you set up, maybe maybe he's being nice and he's like, yeah, we'll hang out again sometime and doesn't give us a set date or, you know, goes, you know, you set a date and he kind of always has plans. He's always has work or he's canceling. Right. These are signs that he's not really, I mean, we, we say this all the time and I feel like it, it needs to get beaten into the heads right. of women because if people will find time for you if they want to. Yes. No matter right. what. Work, no matter I don't what. care what anybody's doing. They'll find time. I and mean, yep. we have so much technology now where we can use, you know, FaceTime if you yep. really, if you really have to come down to that. So when he's pulling away, you can never make somebody like you, so don't try afterwards, after he's kind of expressed the point away or if you had that conversation, yep. um, to kind of talk somebody into like Don't you. sell yourself. That don't is so not yourself. dignified. Yes. Right? It's very not. It's yeah. very not. <laughs> is that grammatical? Very, no, very not? It's very not. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the subject we're on is exactly. like intense. I'm just like... No, it's so, no it's, it's so true. No, it's really so, yeah. it's really so, so true. In fact, the more you go cray cray and try and hard sell, the more the guy is thinking, yeah. oh, I'm done. Just a serious Right, right? like right? the worse you make it for yourself. And it's, you're not, you know, a car at a car dealership. You know, you're, you're not, you're not, a car salesman, you're not supposed to be selling yourself. You're supposed to, it's supposed to just happen naturally. And you don't have to go, oh, but I've, I've done this for you and I could be such a good this. And it's like, you know, it's, it's, you go out with some dignity. Yeah, go out with some dignity. Yeah. So Randy and I were talking about like, so if you could have one last move, Right? The yeah. three-pointer at the buzzer. Yeah. Right? Good college basketball Thank you. reference. I know. I do like sports. Good. Um, that's a plus, by the way, just so you, all of your ladies know that that's oh, a good okay. thing when women like sports. If he's starting to pull away, invite him to a game. They, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Wow, that that might make me come back. I like that. Okay, okay. great. Well, there but you add go. Add that to the list. So right. besides getting tickets that are really expensive, oh, they're, eh, forget it, they're just cl uh, on the court. Yeah, on the floor. yeah. Um, the best thing you can do is actually take it like a woman and be like, okay, and give him some space. Space is key. Because I've, what might he, th okay, this is not a promise, but what might happen if you actually respect him and give him space? What might he think? Yeah, I think what could happen is um, one or two things. I think he can go on some other dates right? and realize that, whoa, this, she was right. She was a really good girl. I didn't have the connection with them on these other dates. 
something clicks, okay, that could happen. Or right. the, the whole thing where you kind of miss somebody once they're gone. You know, we yep. get that. And not to say that's the best way to get back into a relationship, but he might think, okay, well, th maybe that was the one. Okay. Because men are it. human. I think yeah. that one of the things is women, you, you know, we're like Googling what to do. Like it was, a, you know, like how do I get rid of a cold sore? Yeah. You know? and, it's like, right, right. and it's like there's humans involved and there's right. context and right. there's situations. So is it possible? And, and we didn't really talk about this, so I'm kind of like putting you on the I'll go off the cuff. Okay. Um, the I'm thinking about you text. Yes. Bad or good? You know, like he disappeared and you're actually, you know, driving by the billboard that you kind of joked about and you're like, oh, Randy, I'm thinking about you. How are you? Is that... I think that's cool. I mean, you guys at some point, I mean, it depends how long you're with Right, person, exactly. So you guys at some point shared a connection. Right. For me, it, I think it's cool to even hear from, you know, ex-girlfriends right. or, or, you know, um, that... Yeah, that's cool. You drove past, uh, you know, an old billboard that yeah. we used to joke about, like that. Oh, how funny! Maybe take a picture. And right. Say, Remember this or whatever. Right. I think that's cool as long as you're, you know, you don't. Okay. Oh, by the way, like, I, uh, what's what are you thinking now? Can we go on a date or you know? Like, right. Don't turn it into. Don't that. turn it into. I miss you. Yeah. Don't say. Oh, that was when I was the happiest. Right. But it could be like there. a cool little reminder, like, oh yeah, that was, you know, and then maybe get some thinking, but just don't overdo it. Is the thing, and you know, I think. It, Doing that is a cool little reminder. I, I, it's nice. Okay, so you can throw the softball, but if he doesn't respond, don't take it personally. And if he does, don't go down like you know the pity pathway. Yeah, and don't do it because you want a response from him. You you're expecting a response back. That's gonna good be good. Good point. Don't do it for that. Do it because you're just generally like, hey, I'm thinking about you, and that's it. Don't expect anything back from it. I, I love it. Be okay. So my my biggest piece of advice is if a guy starts to pull away, don't question yourself. Right? True. I mean, it's not like you're a bad person. Just move on and say next and use some of these tips. And most important, I think, is really, you know, keep your dignity intact. Yeah. You're a great person and just move on because yeah. the right guy is, is going to be there for you. Yeah. Lo love yourself first and then love, love will come at you. Love him. All right. <laughs> so um, what's your website? Where can they find more oh, Randy Lee? Yes. www.randylee.org. I'm not an organization. <laughs> He's an organization. Yeah, not an organization, <laughs> but it was the only one with Randy, Randy Lee in it, so I was like, I gotta go with this. Da, he's a .org. Yeah. Couldn't ask for more. Yeah. Um, he's also <laughs> single. I am, yes. Newly yes. single. Newly single. So you could just post a comment about, you know, yeah. hey, Randy. <laughs> Love you, babe. Okay. Um, and you can, uh, on Twitter, on Twitter, uh, hashtag dating den, uh, what do you do when a guy pulls away? And also, you can follow me on Instagram, at Dating with Dignity, or at Marnie Batista. And if you want to take this from, in, in, what do you call it, information and entertainment, and actually find love now, there's a program that we offer that's totally free, that's a training on how to become perpetually irresistible, and you can get that just by clicking a link in the little description. So come work with us, and I will see you all later in the next Dating Den. Mwah. Bye, guys.